have another free pattern from Yarn Inspirations, and this is a baby's bib. Now it does actually show you that if you want to do a plique, uh, just there they provided the pattern for a bear. I've decided that I'm not going to do, and they've actually got lining in this as well. Um, I'm going to do a quicker version, but using their template, and you get two. You get the one that goes around the neck and towards the bottom and that's cut on the fold and then you get the lower bit which is cut on the fold well I've took that opportunity to give me so I've got uh, two colours now this white is actually napkin 100% cotton fabric and they were brand new um, brand new napkins from a charity shop so they cost next to nothing this is like a poly cotton, I can't remember what you call it now, summer cotton, uh, that um, is cheaper than 100% cotton and um, that's absolutely ideal for what we're dealing with, the amount of times this will be thrown into the wash. And all it is, is I'm going to sew the lower bib to the upper bib. So pin them together, lower and upper bib quarter an inch seam allowance I have pressed one seam down one seam up because we have to nestle those together because that's the only place that needs to make sure that you get right pin all the way round matching both seams and then sew the whole thing. The sew using a quarter, an inch, quarter of an inch seam leaving a turning gap of about two to three inches on the bottom making sure that you've nestled your bottom seams. Trim your seams using pinking shears. And then turn through. All the way through and then press. Once you've pressed, top stitch. Now you can either top stitch all the way around or I'm just going to do this white bit. <coughs> Cut about an inch of the hook and eye and the idea then is to attach it from underneath and on top. Uh, do the top one first, about an inch I should imagine. Just there look. And then sew all the way around. your first one done and then turn it over and then you probably put that on there 
and you'll need to put them together like so so it's neat and tidy around this corner and then pin And then that's the way that needs to be sewn on. You're always going to have a square at the top and a square at the back. Keep it neat and tidy as you possibly can. And there you have one bit. directional fabric be aware of which way the direction will go but that's absolutely that that costs about 20 25 pence thank you for joining me please hit the like and subscribe button to be notified of any new videos that i upload and have a good day